for any achievements on mountain shipping container. Less than ideal noise wise, very echoey. And we've got the two Opus discharges there with the fans rattling away. But I'm trying to work out a way of doing this cell as safely as possible. I've spent the morning discharging a whole heap cell, well, a couple of cells. Got a little resistor on there, it's a little bit warm. And they were all about one and a half volts when I started. Hopefully they're much less than that now. So I'm discharging the cells so they've got as little potential energy as possible. I'm not even gonna to pretend to know how to do this safely. I'm just gonna try and use common sense and get it done. Uh, so this one was a zero volt cell. So I'm not gonna, I, I wouldn't be doing this at, at home if I were you, I'd really, really be taking care. Now, one thing I did notice is there's a real pungent smell from that. And this one here, there's no smell. Even if I put that up to my nose and smell it, there's no of that lithium, I'm gonna call it a lithium smell, I don't actually know if it's lithium or not, but there's no smell to this cell at all. Now, some have asked what the cell was, and it's uh, LGABD11865. And then it's got K242H, what is it, 307A4 underneath it. Now, they come out of, um, they look like that when they're unprocessed, out of the, out of the, out of the packaging. Um, and they come out of these packs. So they were Dell. You see them in there, the pink LG cells. So, they're known to be good cells. I mean, I tested a heap of them and they're okay. Um, I've got a heap of them in here um, and there hasn't been a problem. Now, what I'll do is before I actually start pulling that one apart, is I'll, I'll try and get as much footage as I can without being silly uh, time-wise. But I put it under the microscope. I found my camera from my microscope. And I'll just insert a little couple of clips here for a couple of minutes and you can go through and have a look at them. Um, while that's playing through, it's just off the camera, straight into a capture card on the computer through OBS. So it's not really high resolution photos, but I'll put them up there. I've tried to get into this end as much as I could with the CID. Um, perhaps some sun might help. Trips over walking out of the shed. Wouldn't it be ironic if the iPhone got a better view of it? But okay, so we'll go through that footage now. After we've gone through that footage, we'll come back and we'll start pulling this cell apart. Take a chance. Live your life for just one night. Don't look him back. Cause the night will make you right. We'll just have a look here, have a poke around this cell a little bit. So as you can see, there's zero voltage there, there's nothing at all. And we go continuity. That's odd, we've got continuity, which means that CID hasn't failed. That's even more puzzling. But it seems to be that the common response within the comment section is manufacturing fault. And then that could be a seam. So that's saying the continuity is there. Um, I don't even have one with a blown CID, known blown CID. Okay, so let me go back to voltage again. And I wonder if we put the, the multimeter in here. I don't want to ruin my good tips on my multimeter. 
there's nothing at all there. So on AC and on the DC. So it's still 0 0.4 volts. Okay, so we'll have to let that discharge a little bit more. Okay, so we're about an hour in to discharging these cells. They're about 0 0.17 volt. And these five watt resistors, I think they're about one amp. Um, they're not even warm. They don't even register on the floor. Uh, so we're close enough now. I'll leave it for another hour just to discharge them all the way. One more test, internal resistance. So we've got the SM8124A battery analyzer. Internal resistance of that cell is about 105, which is, I just think that's just odd. And there you go, that's another test. I don't think I can do much more with testing that. Let's start getting it apart. So we've got two cells the same. Let's pull them apart so we can compare the two. Now in my testing earlier, I just used this, I lined I lined it up about like that. Now, I am intentionally not wearing gloves because I want to feel how hot this cell is. There we go, that just popped off. See it there? That's one end off. A little electrode coming out and then joining up to the bottom of the CID. Through that little hole there. So we'll look at that a little bit more soon. And pop that one off. There we go. Grab snippy tools. Here we go. We're going to have a better look at that inside the workshop once we've pulled it all apart. Again, no discoloration underneath that CID at all. It's nice and shiny. Let's keep those separate. Let's have a go at this one. Okay, this is the undamaged cell. We'll pop the top off of that one. That's slightly different inside that one. That one's blue. Actually appears to have some sort of cover over it. Different batches maybe? Different year models? Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to open a few more and see if we can compare a few more different ones. I've got a few there. Right here, let's keep going. Snip this bit off. Now we know that one's got a little bit of voltage. We might, just for shits and giggles, grab the multimeter on that one. Put it into the DC mode. Put that somewhere where you can actually see it. If we go in there, there's something there. Let's go this one. I'm running out of light. I do apologize about that. This one's 1 1.2 volts. Oh, sorry, 0 0.2 volts. So it's getting late in the afternoon. I've got to get this done. Okay, so that one's the old one. Not very many differences. Now, I would have expected that to be a darker colour inside there or something, but we'll try and take this end off and unpeel it and see if we can get it off that way. Let's 
Now again, I'm not wearing gloves for a very good reason. Um, it's because I want to feel the heat in this cell if something goes wrong. Yeah. We've got a little blue bit in that one. That's odd. We'll cut that off. So I see no red flags in this. Now I don't technically know what I'm looking for, but there's nothing there that would say to me, run. Now this is where I should have gloves. I'm not even gonna deny that part. And this actually has got some of the, the same pink on the inside of it. it. Must be insulation of some sort. Now, again, there is no heat there whatsoever. And I know this could go up. I, I am full well aware of the dangers of doing this, but. We might take this outside and do it on the grass. You know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go and get some gloves. Oh yeah, I got gloves. I know you all stand in there screaming at me saying, where is your gloves? Oh, yeah, I've also got a Stanley knife as well. Now, I don't even know what I'm looking for in here. Can you just pull this apart or... I guess there's nothing more to it than to do it. I guess ideally I'd like to look for dendrites and stuff underneath the microscope, but I wouldn't know what I was looking at, so that's almost pointless. I can't feel any heat through those gloves and I can't see any smoke. I'm tearing that apart, it's actually coming off. Now it's my understanding if that was actually had a charge to it, that could go up in flames quite easily if you knocked it, hit it or bashed it or short-circuited it even, but I think that's got so little charge in it. But we might do what I brought this in for. I'll just throw that in the water. Did nothing, did a bit of bubbling. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Please ignore the dirty dog food tin. It's the only thing I had. We'll set that little bubble away. Have a look at this closely. That must be, what do you call that, the, the centre bit? But, I don't know, Chivas, what do you reckon? Was that worth half of my day playing around with? Now, I know you see five minutes, but Pete doesn't do this stuff quickly. What else we got in here? Seems to be quite well insulated. That just must be the centre core there. Well, what do you reckon? Was that boring? Uneventful? Do we go in and have a look at these two CIDs? I think that would be something to do. See if we can take some better photos of these CIDs. So this one here on this side is the, um, is the damaged cell and that is the good known working cell. So let's head inside and take a look. Back in the workshop now having a look. Remembering the left side is apparently the damaged one. 
and the right side is the good one. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't tell the difference. I mean, that one's got a slightly different colour to it. There's no denting or pitting in that CID. Now, I believe the way that works... This bit here is the pressurised part. And it actually pops out and disconnects the battery from the internals of it. So that's even different again to the last cell that I opened up. Anyway, I think that's an inconclusive test at the very least. What do you reckon? Leave a comment in the section below. Do you want me to pull apart some more cells and have another look? If you do, it'll probably be a week or so away because I'm going to have to discharge a lot more cells to do it. I think I'm getting a little bit more confident. My gloves stink, but I guess you get that. Anyway, tubers, I hope that was worth the effort. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next one. Take a chance Live your life for just one night No looking back Cause the night will make you right Can't you please feel it? It ain't hot oh, oh. Can't you please feel it? It ain't hot oh, oh. Take a chance.